Did you know you can change the order of operations when programming your Titan to reduce tool changes? Here's how. In this example, I'm using a full table layout which includes many different styles. Each of the styles starts off with my Z-Wheel 1, which is tool number 4. Here we see it's used to cut the wall scribes and then the seams, which also use a Z-Wheel 2 and a Z-Wheel 3. And after using those tools, we do a tool change back to tool number 4, followed by tool changes to the gauge wheel and then the profile set. And then we do a tool change back to tool number 4, Z-Wheel 1, to start another profile. This happens multiple times in this program, resulting in many tool changes. We can reduce or minimize the tool changes by using Order Operations by Tool. And when we pick it, it will open up a separate window. And so we can see the tools displayed in this area, we'll choose Import from Drawing. This brings in a list of all the tools that were used in this program. Notice that the order of the tools in this list match the order of the tools listed in the operations panel. But the tools don't repeat in the order of operations by tool list. The order that the tools were input followed the order of the tools in the operations panel. So we have tool number 4, 5, and 6, and then 4 is being used again, but it already exists in the list, so it won't be added. The next new tool is 3, so it gets added to the list, and the rest of the new tools follow. I can group these tools together in the list following this order. I'll select tool number, which means that it's going to follow the tool number in the order that's being currently displayed in this tool list. Now when I click OK, the first time I use this ordering method, I'll get a message that this current tool ordering list has not been saved. For right now, I'll just choose Yes to continue without saving, and we'll see the tools reordering over in the Operations panel. Clicking OK completes the ordering and closes the window. Now, all operations that use tool number 4 or the Z-Wheel 1 are together at the top of the program. Then we use tools 5 and 6 to complete our seams before we do a tool change to the gauge wheel, which is tool number 3 and then we'll continue following the order that was in our list. Since this method worked well for me, I'm going to save it. I'll go back and open my order operations by tool, and then I'll have to import my tools from the drawing, and set what to compare by tool number, so I can save the tool ordering list. And I'll just use the name Order by Tool Number. And with an OK and an OK, I can see that name exists in the drop down, so I'll select it. And if I were to click OK, it would reorder these tools by the same method, the tool number, so I'll get the same results. We can also use this feature to easily move the order of a group of tools. For demonstration purposes, I'll move this group of tool number three, the gauge wheel, to the top of the program, so they'll all be run first. I'll select the gauge wheel in my list and red arrow it to the top. 
I'm still set to tool number, so I'll click OK. And the program is reordered, and all the gauge wheels are now at the top of the program. And we can clearly see this if we run it in simulation. It will now do all operations with the gauge wheel before it does a tool change to Z wheel 1. And then it'll perform all operations with Z wheel 1 before it does another tool change, therefore reducing tool changes and making our program run faster. Ordering the tools also works very well when doing the sync cutouts on the Titan. To order, first the core hole, then the finger bit. In this program, I'm also using a finger bit to do a mill relief, which is why we see the finger bit at the top of the operations list. And we'll also see the finger bit lower in the program to cut out the sinks after the core bit. And this order of core bit and finger bit is used a couple more times throughout the program, one for each sink. Now if I open my operations panel, it may bring in the order that was saved before if I have it selected as active. And since there wasn't a core bit or finger bit used in the prior program, it did not get used in this list. So we'll import the tools from this drawing to bring in the tools from this program, including the core bit and finger bit which we'll have to make sure we reorganize in the correct order. I'll want this mill bit towards the top of the program for both the sink cutouts and the mill relief cuts. Like before, I can highlight the tool and press the move up arrow many times to get it to the top, but this time I'm going to use the drag and drop method. I'll click on it hold down and drag, then let go to drop it into a position, which I might have to do more than once to get it all the way to the top. And I'll do this with the core bit as well, making sure that the holes are cored before the sink cutouts will be cut. And then scroll through to double check that our program will run the way we want and that the tool order is safe. I'm going to save this order with these tools, I'll just give it a name, order with core bit and finger bit. And before I click OK to sort the tools, I'll make sure that I have the correct list selected and active. And I'll click Yes to use the order by core and finger bit list that I have selected as active. So the tools will be reordered as I have them in the saved list that I used. The order, first the core bit, then the finger bit, then the Z wheels, gauge wheels, and so on in the same order we had in the list. Thank you for watching. Now you know what I know. One more thing. Did you know that we have hundreds of resources available on our website for machine training and service? To find them, go to parkindustries.com. Thank you for choosing Park Industries.